hello 1000 subscribers welcome back to my channel yes i want to use this opportunity to tell you all thank you for subscribing for liking and for sharing my videos i'm really grateful welcome back to my channel for today and for today's tutorial i will be having a tutorial on this round ghillie style you agree with me that this ghillie style this round regular ghillie style has not really gone out in vogue in fact people are modernizing it and you know i think it's hard time I do a tutorial on it a very simple detailed tutorial on how you can tie your ghillie round ghillie is not difficult if you follow these simple steps so you're just going to divide your ghillie into 60 40 that means instead of putting it in the middle you're going to shift it so that one side is going to be longer than the other side and after doing that you're going to make your plates your layers so i think i made like uh, five to six layers before i'll arrange it at both sides make sure that it's secured and it is flat then i'm going to cross it at the back and when crossing your ghillie when i'm crossing my ghillie and when professionals cross their ghillie the longer hand always come under the shorter hand so that your ghillie that, that way your ghillie is not going to loosen up that's the reason why so you're going to cross it after you cross it what you're just going to do is just going to be making your plates yes you just give me and put in my hand I'll be picking my plate on top of each other and make sure that your plates are not too big that way your ghillie is going to stand very well and also it also depends on the fabric you're using this fabric is kind of weak it's not really that strong you know we had different kind of uh, ashoki fabric so depending on the one you're going to be using so the stronger it is the more you'll be able to stand and you know you can give it height and whatever but for this fabric it was not really that strong and it was really big it was instead of the regular four layers I, this one is five layers so i'm just going to you know be putting it on top of each other you're going to take your time you have to be patient you don't have to rush it when you turn a professional you can start you know doing it chap chap anyhow you want to do it but if you're learning you want to take your time and do it and make your pleats you can see the one i'm carrying the pleats on top of each other then after doing i'm going to take it like that follow it like that to the tip of the ghillie you can see it now i'm at the tip of the ghillie like the edge of of the ghillie of the ashok of the material that i'm using then after doing it like that as I'm, and also notice that as i'm taking my plates i'm arranging it to the back you don't just want to take your plates and leave it like no you want to arrange it to the back so after arranging my after taking my plates i'm just going to extend my plates at this point you want to be careful not to create new plates so you just want to you know arrange those plates and the, the issue i noticed that most persons face in this uh, when it gets to this stage is that they notice that some plates you start losing some plates so you want to take your time and arrange them you can see the way i'm doing it don't don't bother about it losing up because you already told your mother or someone else to help you hold the shorter hand so it's not going to lose enough so just take your time and arrange it and as you're arranging you can be raising it so give it that height then arranging it to this other side that you've arranged and you know bring the other side out, out so that you know it can give you that roundness that you want so i'm just going to make sure i'm securing my pleats to the back then after doing that i'm just going to extend my pleats just keep extending it until i'm able to get to the edge and make sure that yes i'm getting the the round like how i want my my ghillie to be so i'm just going to as i'm picking as i'm arranging my plates you see me you know raising it as if i'm raising it higher just take your time you don't want to you know you don't want to rush the process and be careful don't create new, new plates in this process you can see the way i'm picking it just pick it like that arrange it under each other then you know pick it up like this arrange it with your hand like this then you go again and arrange it so to make sure that the my ghillie is secure i'm going to take i'm going to arrange those first plates i make i made in the beginning yes you can see me now that place i'm holding that's the first plates i made so i'm going to take like two three plates take it to the back and tie it so that i'll have enough time to arrange my ghillie yes and my model is looking beautiful and besides her i did I, I think i did a short video for for her and that short video is kind of a process on how i created this look and i it got over twenty thousand 
views and lots of subscribers like you can go watch the full tutorial on my youtube channel on how i created this you know beautiful look on how you see the before and the after the transformation and everything i will be able to achieve this flawless look so let's come back to what we're saying so i've tied it at the back to secure it then i'll just keep arranging it yes so like i said earlier following this simple step you're going to notice that your gilly your uh, round gilly is going to you know be coming into shape so i'm just going to you know be arranging it until i get to the edge i'll keep arranging arranging making sure i'm not losing any pleats and i'm not creating new one because if you are losing any pleats some will be looking fatter and like looking uh, like as if there's space in between so you don't want to do that so i'm just going to take it to the back and you know arrange it to the back before i tie it and yes don't mind the fact that i was talking at the back i think there was a client there that wanted to uh, make her hair and she was asking me a lot of questions so that's why you notice that i was talking a lot in the uh, in the video and it seems as if i was distracted yes she was distracting me but anyway Sha, let's come back to what we we're saying so you can see me arranging it i'll go to the back arrange it from the back make sure that it's secure then i'll come to the front again and arrange it so that's how i'm going to do it until i'm able to get the the size the how should i say it's not size before i get my perfect uh, my perfect round gilly so if you notice it's not hard just make after you cross your gilly just make your pleats arrange them on top of each other after you finish arranging to the edge of the gilly then you do what you start extending those pleats that you've already arranged then as you're extending it you're using your hand to raise it up to raise it up so that it will not be looking small and you know uh, as if you know now you when uh, your gilly is high that's when the beauty is there you can see it now that it's higher than before uh -huh. and at the same time you if, if it was for some materials it would have been higher than this but like i said earlier this material was big and it was uh, soft already it was not really that strong so if you really want your ashoki your your round gilly to be high your ashoki also will also determine the type of ashoki that you're using so if you want your ashoki to be high if it was a stronger one you will see the ashoki standing so and as each uh, each plate is standing that way it will be you know it will give it the height that you want so that one depends it also controls how high your ashoki is going to your hair tie your round hair tie is going to be so if you want it to be higher you want to get something that is strong you know and some person something they also do to give it height is in between the pleats at the back they you know they put something like a tissue to make it firm and stronger but me personally i don't do it like that so you want to have this at the back of your mind so you'll notice here that i tied it first i noticed that the, the material left was too much so i had to uh, loosen it up and it was not really giving what i wanted it to give because of the material it's it was too the material at the back was too much and i wanted to you know to give that round feeling like throughout i don't want to be seeing any knots at the back as you as you can see from the side that i am now you can see the knot where i tied it and so i'm just going to loosen it up and you know tie it in another method so that i can have that round feeling that i have but if you're not using a ashoki that is very big like a material that is very big if it's the regular a uh, one you have to tie it like this and it will still give you that way remember it was because of the length i still had a lot of materials remain material remaining after i tied it so you notice i was supposed to show you the back but that day we were really in the rush we recorded this in the night so what i just did is i just folded it at the back and took it up to the you, know, you can see me folding it i'll take it to the up part instead of tying it under i'm going to take it to the up part pin it there then take this other side you know and tie it if you understand what i mean <laughs> i hope you understand i would have really loved to show you uh, my mind did not go to that my like okay I did not think about it it did not cross my mind that i should turn the camera like turn her back so that you can see the way i did it so anyway i just rolled it up and is this one is for situations whereby the ashoki is very big but if not you can just tie it the regular one so i'm just showing you i just want to be transparent and 
you know what that's it i think i'm talking too much so after doing that i'm just going to arrange my pleats again make sure that everything is secured before i'm going to take the excess material and shocking it inside and tie it so you agree with me that tying around gilly is not difficult just follow it step by step if you follow it step by step you're able to you know tie your round ghillie slay your clients slay your brides you know at least you have something mm -hmm. and i also have other videos on different styles on my channel so you can go and check them out and and see like different styles you can you know simple styles that you can you can tie on your clients mm -hmm. you don't want to be tying round round ghillie only round ghillie for your clients so you can go check my channel and see other beautiful styles on one based styles you know unconventional styles that you can tie for your client so yes so i'm just going to pin it at the back of the head of the yes at the top part of the hair like that after pinning is i'll just come back and arrange my round ghillie and make sure that everything it's well like it's giving that round shape look at my face <laughs> look at my face <laughs> the face behind the brand when you see me on my, my makeup pictures my makeup pictures and see me on a normal day do you see that the hustle is real like it's not easy please or people should ignore my head mm -hmm. i don't know why i was you know when it comes to these things it's always somehow but anyway sharp so that is it so if you've watched this extent thank you very much for like for watching and please don't forget to like and don't forget to if you have not subscribed already don't forget to subscribe in here we share good vibes we share our knowledge we don't get keep we don't you know do anything like that if you have any questions you can ask i also drop my my instagram handle here yeah, so that you can also check me out on instagram shut me up if you have any difficulties you can ask me i think i'll respond quickly there too and that's it you can see how the glade like it's it's beautiful like it's beautiful yes yeah. so you can tie it i know you can do it if i can do it yes you can do it too just follow this simple step and yes this is what we've been doing since and it was looking beautiful so what do you think guys what do you think so please don't forget to like or forget to forget to comment and you know let's let's what am i saying sir <laughs> anyway so this is the final look for the gilet so thank you very much for watching so till next time bye bye